Hello everybody, uh, welcome to Pastor's Corner, Baldwin Barnes with you. And uh, today I am thinking of the word leftovers. Have you had any leftovers in the past couple of days? Of course you had. I have had even some today. And leftovers, for most of us, we, you know, don't uh, think of them as uh, really something complimentary to talk about or to even eat. But leftovers is something that seems to be very important to our Lord Jesus Christ. There in the Bible, we find several incidents of Jesus feeding large uh, gatherings of people, great multitudes, um, 4,000, 5,000 people or 5,000 men, uh, plus uh, women and children. So a lot of people and uh, one such incident took place in uh, Matthew chapter 15 and uh, starting at verse 32 from verse 32 down to verse uh, 39 um, and th that was an incident of feeding 4,000 and uh, Jesus uh, asked um, do you have any bread and uh, you know, is, do you have enough to feed these people or something like that? And the, the, the disciples, what? Where in the world are we going to find that much food to feed this big old crowd? Jesus says, well, you know, they've been with me three days now, and I don't want to send them away. They are hungry. They might faint along the way. So uh, how much do you have? How many loaves do you have? And they said, seven. And he said, well, bring them. And he had the multitude sit down on the ground or directed the disciples to have them sit down in the ground in, uh, you know, groups and so forth. And he broke bread and uh, fed everybody. And then they took up seven baskets of bread that was leftovers. And again, we find the same story uh, in Mark chapter 8 about the feeding of the 4,000. And in Mark chapter 6, we find the story of the feeding of 5,000. And in the feeding of 5,000, uh, they picked up 12 baskets of leftovers. Uh, 12 baskets of leftovers, uh, remnants, fragments, um, but all the same good stuff that was uh, left over from the master's hand. And uh, so we must not despise leftovers because Jesus was very careful about getting all the leftovers because they would be useful to him. And uh, for us, I think the usefulness is uh, a, a teaching, you know, moment, uh, a mnemonic, you might say. Jesus uses these leftovers to say that uh, what is left over is very, very important. Um, and in our case, I would want to switch the word from leftover to remnants, you know, remnants. What are the remnants? Well, <laughs> you know, when it comes down to it, you and I are the remnants. Uh, those few, um, those who have been left behind by the rest of the world and uh, those who uh, consider it <clears throat> very important to follow the Lord closely to stick by what he has to say and uh, to make sure that we are in compliance with his directives and that we're moving forward together in faith following the master. So we are the leftovers. Then, you know, sometimes the leftovers, leftovers taste just as good or um, even better than when it was originally presented. So be the remnant in your sphere, wherever you are. Be the one who reminds everybody else about how good it was at the original serving. And when it comes down to it, uh, we, the leftovers, we, the remnants, might be, as God intends, caught up together with him to be with him always uh, in glory. So enjoy whatever leftovers you might have from Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, we are still basking in the glow of Thanksgiving, even though it was really different this year, wasn't it? Uh, Thanksgiving was uh, different. Uh, um, our gatherings were smaller. Um, we had more telecommunications and that sort of thing. 
but uh, leftovers, leftovers, regardless of how we approach them, they're still great. And uh, the remnants are very, very precious. Let me tell you a story right quick, actually. Um, <clears throat> where I come from, you know, some if you have something that really tastes great on your plate, you know, you leave a little bit of that for the last, you eat everything else, and then you eat that. You know, for example, uh, what we call pear, which is actually avocado. Avocado with dumpling, you know, is a favorite. And so you have a little piece of dumpling and a little avocado and you leave that to the last. Well, you have to be careful with that little leftover, that little remnant that you have there because you might have a cousin or an uncle, you know what I'm, I'm talking about myself, right? You might have a cousin or an uncle who loves that little remnant that you might be saving and snatches off your plate and uh, as a little kid I would be crying but mm, them's the breaks right <laughs> that story has no relevance to whatever we were talking about but it just came up so enjoy the evening God bless you and have a great week talk with you next time bye bye